So it's another cold, fabulous day in Canada, and I thought I would say hi to you guys. Um, I am back from Las Vegas. Uh, it was lots of fun. It was kind of a crazy week. Um, if you can't tell, I sound a little hoarse. <laughs> I did get sick. I mean, I tried really hard not to. I tried to be good, but of course, you know, I was in Vegas and was there for some fun too, so I had to have at least one fun night, which of course involved a little bit of drinking and a little bit of loud music and probably a little bit of talking too loudly over the music. So now I sound a little hoarse. <laughs> oh well, what can you do? <laughs> but I still wanted to take some time to say hi and have some fun with you guys and share with you some goodies I've gotten. So I got a bunch of stuff before I left. Unfortunately, I can't do unboxing for you guys because I was waiting on certain things I needed for my trip, so I had to open the boxes just to make sure what was there and if it was something I needed. But I have not tried it on, so it's still in the packaging, so I thought we could still do a show off of the fabulous fan mail I got from you guys. Um, again, it's so awesome and it's so thoughtful when you guys do send me something. I really do appreciate it. It takes a lot of uh, a lot of planning and a lot of fun things to wear or to um, collect to make up some of these really fun shoots that we do, that I do. Um, and having something that inspires me for something creative for that day really helps. So on the top of that list is what I'm going to wear. So a fun outfit, a crazy lingerie, cool props, they all help to make just a really epic shoot more epic. I don't know, I kind of like to do things that are fun and creative and it really helps A, getting things that I really appreciate and B, it really helps let me know what you guys want to see me in and what you guys think would look awesome because really I don't know what you guys want. <laughs> I can guess or I can ask those who follow me on my social media. So on Twitter it's at KatieBanksDD. Or on Instagram, it is the Katie Banks. So if you guys comment there and just let me know, like, hey Katie, I would totally love to see you wearing some crazy spandex and bright colors or something in my next shoot. Um, that'd be totally awesome because it really just helped me to kind of know what you guys want to see and give myself something creative to follow for that day. Um, but yeah, without further ado, I will show you through YouTube magic all my fun and funky things I just got. So big thank you to everyone who did get me something, Mwah! and if I do forget to mention you, I'm sorry, so then I don't always come with notes, so if you give a note, at least then I know who you are, so I can properly thank you. Alright, we'll get started. <laughs> so this one is a sexy red leather crazy zipper outfit. Yes, even my sleeves zipper open. Oh, there we go, that's better. <laughs> so I got this one because I'm kind of thinking I want to do something a little fetishy, something a little kinky. Um, so I got this thinking that this would be fun with a whip and maybe some horns and some red boots that I have to do a devil or to just do something very red and mistressy and kinky. But it's fun. It's got all these funky zippers all over it. It is a one piece, so it is a little restrictive. But I just like the industrial size zippers. I think it's fun. And I like it, it kind of covers but doesn't. <laughs> so it's fun, it's this little body suit <laughs> that we can have some fun with. So, and I know this one came from Ryan, so thank you Ryan. I really love it. It's, it's just fun. <laughs> it's not something I would normally wear. So it's always fun to play with things that are different. Things that are not the natural. It really creates for some interesting concepts to come from them. So next on my list of things that I gotta gather is going to be devil horns. Because I definitely think that this needs some sort of devil horns to go with it or a funky mask of some kind to really bring out the very aspect of this outfit. <laughs> Plus it sounds kind of cool as I move around. <laughs> okay, next one. Purely me, kind of I guess, selfish? What? Um, in the summer, I love to wear tank dresses because they're super comfy, they're super lightweight, they're very flowy, they let the breeze fly by, and um, I like to try to avoid underwear and bras as much as possible in the summer because it gets hot and, you know, I kind of like to go commando. And a summer dress like this um, is so comfy with nothing on underneath. So I'm very excited this one is just something simple, black and white, stripes. 
and it is actually for once long enough. Usually when I order tank dresses, I'm I'm crossing my fingers, my arms, my toes, and even my eyeballs, hoping that it's gonna arrive and it's going to actually fit. Because quite often they um I guess they're not meant for slightly tall people. I mean I'm average, I'm five five and a half, so I'm not that tall, but quite often they come and they're like this much too short. Or I guess they're not meant for someone with bigger boobs and a big butt. <laughs> so they shrink up because they get an expanding in too many different areas. So they end up kind of short, which kind of really sucks. So this one actually is perfect. It goes right to the floor, which is a great length. And it's super comfortable, and it's like a soft cotton, so it's yay! <laughs> so this will be something I most definitely will be probably living in this summer. Or spring. Okay, summer, because spring's not that warm here. <laughs> so big, big thank you to Carlos. My lovely summer dress. This one I think also came from Carlos, so thank you Carlos. If it didn't, I'm sorry, but uh, there was no note with it, so I had to fist it. But it's just something bright and colorful. I think I definitely need a lot of is lingerie. Um, I have a pretty extensive lingerie collection, and I kind of love it. <laughs> and what I love most is bright colors. Um, if you haven't figured that out by now, pink hair, pink lights. I love bright colors. I was the kid in high school who was kind of maybe a little bit awkward and I would wear like royal blue pants, red tank top, and a yellow vest <laughs> all on the same day. I just really like color. I like to be bright. I like to feel bright because of the colors I'm wearing. So lingerie, I always love in bright colors. So this one is just fun, little negligee in a very beautiful bright blue color, which is always great. I love it. I like something that's a little bit flowy in the body because it just feels nice and it's a little bit sheer and it's nice when it does this. So yay blue! <laughs> I'm sure you guys won't complain, right? <laughs> Alrighty, this last one was uh, not very YouTube friendly. <laughs> Sorry, I did have to put on a little brown panties underneath. But as you can see, it's fun. It's fishnetty with funky pattern, kind of clubby dress thing. Um, but yeah, though you have it. That is my latest collection of very wonderful things sent to me to my post box, which I appreciate so, so, so much, guys. Thank you so much. Um, if you guys want to see more of my unboxing videos or more videos of me out and about, uh, videos about me, videos about what it's like being a crazy Canadian who loves to film themselves having fun with you guys on YouTube or getting naughty in front of the camera for my XXX website. Um, all you got to do to do that is click either here or here. Probably put it on the side. <laughs> click that big circle right there with my pretty little face in it. Alrighty guys, I hope you're having a fabulous day and I hope your week's off to a great start. <laughs>